And the turtles, of course, all the turtles are free, as turtles and maybe all creatures should be. Dr. Seuss. We are D and Allie. Come along and join us aboard Journey. After leaving Wardrick Wells, we headed up to Shroud Key. So many other little stops we wish we could make, but we need to get out of the Bahamas before our visa runs out, so we must pick and choose a little on this trip out. I had read and seen some videos about Shroud Key and the turtles that live in these waters. According to the Bahamas Land and Sea Park website, Shroud Key is an uninhabited key owned by the Exuma Park, it is an archipelago of keys and rocks surrounding a shallow tidal mangrove salina, which serves as a unique nursery for conch, crawfish, lobster, sea turtles, birds, and many varieties of fish. The tidal creek to the north of Shroud Key is very shallow and should be explored only at idle speed. Maybe a little bit more about that later. But the water and landscapes, as usual in the Bahamas waters, is stunning. As we approach Shroud, we pass this massive mega yacht, Bold. The pictures just don't really do it justice, so be sure to Google the shot and have a look at her. She's a little over the top with all her amenities, and definitely unique. After passing Bold, we headed into the anchorage at Shroud to drop the hook and drop Shelby, so we could explore this uninhabited key. A different unique stop that should not be missed. It's just in case the wind isn't too bad, we're coming into Shroud Key. And the Exuma Land and Sea Park. And we're just going to drop the anchor and take a little dinghy tour that you can take inland. It's like a little river. And then we're probably just going to move on. Um, the downside of this area is we're totally disconnected. <laughs> Um, from everything and everyone, and um, so we're probably just not going to overly hang out here. There is the, the mega yacht. It's actually got a top spill, and then there is the sandbar dividers between Shroud, and which is supposed to be beautiful out there. Time to jump in Shelby and explore this key and its beautiful waters and natural beauty. Why am I a princess on the front of the dinghy looking for turtles? Because I did not charge the underwater camera, which was apparently dead. So all the footage I took was really not recording. The life of the blonde. I should have used Bill Copeland's quote at the beginning of this video. Try to be like the turtle at ease in your own shell, since Dee took this footage. Anyway, we had to revert to cell phones and looking down on the water at the turtles. Be sure to do some of it from here up so I can use it. <laughs> I already had thought of that. Well, 
Last glimpse of Shroud Key as we head back to Journey to pull the anchor and head on up to reach Highborn by sunset. We reached Highborn just before sunset. According to HighbornKeysBahamas.com, Highborn Key is known worldwide as the gateway to the ultimate ethereal islands, the Exuma Keys. Uniquely, the privately owned island welcomes yachtsmen and guests to its first class marina and luxury cottages. Only 35 miles southeast of New Providence, Highborn hosts stop in visitors on a daily basis who purchase fuel, water, and ice as well as shop for groceries and basic supplies at the Highborn store. Highborn's eight beaches, deserted pieces of paradise, all within walking distance of the marina, are among the best kept secrets in the Bahamas. Sadly, we're just anchoring overnight here, but one of the best sunsets will happen here. This is footage we took after setting up the camera and watching the sun go down. Shane Mead from Shane Mead and the Sound was having a live Facebook concert on this night from his home since COVID had stopped him from no longer being able to perform live. Listening to his music made the evening just perfect as the sun melted into the blue waters. Mr. Barracuda came by to say good night. Tomorrow we pass Nassau as we head back across the bank toward the U.S. Name him Fred. <laughs> George. George. We shall name him George. Really love him and hold him. <laughs> <laughs> 